Hey, what's up, YouTube, Facebook? Um, you're listening to Carbage Rivera. It's been about a year. Someone brought that to my attention. I haven't abandoned my channel or my weight loss journey. Okay, I did. I'm lying. Fuck it. It is what it is. Listen, I'm back. Um, for those of you who know me personally and have been in contact with me, you all know I've had more than one surgery because my first job was not to my satisfaction. So I went and had a revision on my tummy tuck. Um, healing after that was really quick. Uh, it's, there's no real heal time. I think less than two weeks I was good. Um, if anything, liposuction hurt more than getting the incision done because your body, it goes numb. It's like, I guess, it defends itself. Uh, so you just, you really have no pain at all. Uh, my personal opinion. The first surgery, my pain was caused by the drains. And the second surgery, I did not have drains, so it was like a piece of cake compared to the, the first one. I still don't feel like I got the pull that I needed to get um, with my surgery, but people who are really rich and famous get botched jobs. I'm nobody, and I came out of pocket, so I think they got it. For what I paid for, I would have liked to have seen a better, better result, but that wasn't the case here. I'm not going to get into what's been going on this year. 2016 has been very, very rough for me in a lot of ways. Um, health, weight gain, weight loss. Um, oh, I always start with the numbers and I failed to do that with you guys. And if you notice, I'm wearing glasses too. That's a new add to my uh, issues, physical and uh, health issues. But that's neither here nor there. I brace it. I, I wear them as necessary. I really only have a problem mostly with the reading. So since I'm always catching myself looking at something to read, I just keep them on. It's, unless I'm watching TV because the TV is too much for me. But other than that, laptop, computer, phone, I need my glasses uh, from the blurred vision. So, the weight. It would be nice if I told you my weight. Starting weight December 2012 was 258 pounds. My lowest weight, I would like to say for consistency, was 153.6. Um, post-op, the first surgery, I was in my 160s, and with all the foods they, did, they put into you for that surgery, I went up to like mid-170s. Took a few months to get that water weight um, down with the inflammation that comes along with the skin removal. I then had my revision done, and that included liposuction, so they can fill you up with fluids to break down the fat so they can do the liposuction. Neither job was worth the money as far as I'm concerned. Um, I am considering a upper body lift, but my next surgery won't be the upper body lift or my breast because I can cover those and those things fit in a bra just fine. What I'm going for next is for the turkey neck, so I'm going to get a facelift. And um, I know you guys noticed in my videos, my um, eyes seem to have issues on the lids where they're swollen. And when I was big, I used to be called the cute girl with a big waist. Now that I'm small, I don't feel cute and I have the body that should really go with the first face I had growing up when I was younger. I just want my body and my face to be on the same page at the same time. Um, I really don't give a fuck about what nobody thinks about how I look, how I carry myself. I, I don't, I'm not going to candy coat nothing for you. This is my journey. It has been from day one. I don't compare my numbers to your numbers. I don't do the things that you probably do for weight loss. Everyone's different. I do what works for me. So with that said, as of today, I'm 178. Yes, that's a 24 gain, pound gain from my last surgery. Or since my last time, so of course I need to say, and now it's like I didn't have it because I'm swollen from being overweight and gaining the weight. And you know how I am? This is me now. I'm okay with it because being small kind of made me feel vulnerable, especially in a prison system. I feel like someone just flamed me. I was too light at that time. I don't care for this much weight gain, but I did kind of get too small for to, to you probably even protect myself in, in the rare event that something pops off at work. So I'm not gonna drag this video up. Um, I won't. You see what I look like? Consider this my first before picture. Um, goal is to get down to 155, back again at least, minimum. Uh, before I go for the, the surgery for my neck and for my eyes. So the first thing a person sees is your face. What good is it if I have a flat body and my face is chopped up? So I'm going to go do the face first. 
and then we'll do the upper body lift and or the breast. Um, fat transfer would be perfect for this period because I have just enough weight gain to do fat transfer, but I don't think that's, I don't think that's what it's really going to be for me. Uh, if I decide to make it a surgery I, I would choose to have, then what, what I'm more of us going to have to do is, after I lose the weight, gain weight just so you can do the fat transfer, and that just seems stupid to do. Um, I'm not going to do no silicone crap. I'll stay with what God gave me. I, don't, I still haven't, to this day, I still haven't decided whether I want breast lift with implants or just a breast lift. I'm not a titty person, and I like my clothes to fit me comfortably, so I think having bigger breasts would definitely take that from me and make me wear a bigger size as opposed to a smaller size. So I don't think I'm going to get any implants at this point. I really just think I want to lift and for them to, because I don't really want to have like, my nipples removed and new no sensation in there. <sighs> this journey is far up as far as I'm concerned. And we've, I've discussed this in previous videos. This is a lifestyle. It can't just be a year. It can't just be two. It has to, can't be, and you just have to remember when you wake up and you go to your kitchen, don't eat the things that you know are hurting you in the end because you're really only hurting yourself and making more work for yourself down the line. It's so much easier for us to deprive ourselves and maintain the weight than it is to take off a gain. The first time you did it, it was hard. The second time you did it was even harder. This time around, this is the thing, my third strike. I'm at the point where I know it can be done. I'm even having doubts in my head, like how far can I go with this next one? Can I get back to 155? Am I just going to settle at 165 or what have you? I'm strong. I think I can get where I need to go. I don't know if you guys really want to see my stomach after the tummy tuck, but before I do show it to you, this video is meant for professional purposes only. This is not being shown to you in any sexual form or way, nor is that my intention. If you can't handle what I'm about to show you, this is your moment. Stop now, get up, and keep moving to the next video because I'm going to expose my stomach, the um, keloid area and all of that. And because of the weight gain, it's not going to be the pretty thing to see. So again, if you stay from this moment on, it's on you. You had a choice to walk away and not see something that may not make you happy. Disclaimer, this is not meant to be sexual, period. If your head is on that fucking slop side, it, then you don't need to be on my page. Okay, so I'm going to pull my shirt up to here. Now, you see with the weight gain, I kind of got that pouch back. I was dying to get rid of. It was so small after the second surgery, it was almost invisible. But with weight gain, of course, it came back. So, I'm going to expose myself too much. I'm going to get in closer so you can see it. My incision goes all the way up to here. See this? That's my incision hole started from here went all the way over. Um, this side post op was always bigger than that side, but the keloid area is right here. It's not as bad as it was when I first looked at it. It has gotten better. Um, again, excuse me, this is not to be sexual. Um, it has gotten down better. Anyone who's ever had, I think, a tummy tuck or a revision, mini or full, and who has that had children through C-section, I think you all can relate that once you are out, shaving is like almost impossible because you don't have any sensation down there, you don't want to cut or hurt yourself. So you have to have someone do it for you, or you have to really look down and literally try not to hurt yourself because especially along the decision line, this hair is growing right on your decision line. And you know that's not attractive, but you also know that you just got surgery. It takes about six to eight weeks minimum to at least believe your scar tissues are healing. So for you to shave and cut yourself back open, you're only doing yourself a disservice. So anyway, despite my outcome, when I do it again, hell yeah, hell yeah. Because if you if you're on my private group where I did take you throughout my journey of both the first surgery and the second surgery, sorry guys, it's private. If you're not on my Facebook account and you're not on, uh, sorry, my Facebook weight loss account and you're not involved in. I did that for a reason. Some things I need to be posted on the internet. But this right here, I'm on a, more, more than over a year post-op. So I can't say that the surgery felt me at this point in time. I'm actually feeling myself, you know, with the weight gain. Um, when I look in the mirror, I still feel very attractive. So this is not bothering me. 
what bothered me was when my stomach was real crunched up and wrinkly from the, the skin. And it's not the tightest pull I would have preferred, but it is a pull and it does make a difference. With that said, I'm back. My day one is technically it's not the midnight. No, I think it was a little before midnight. Technically, tomorrow's my first day. And I will definitely, 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 guys, try to check in at least once a week, even if it's on my phone and, and post it through Facebook. But I, I'm going, I'm going to be back. I'm back. I'm back. Yo, he's back. I'm back. I'm not hiding anymore. Yes, I gained weight. Yes, I plan on taking the weight off. Um, Shorty got me some new uh, video gear. You know I am about my. <laughs> my boxes and shit. That belly pouch though. I don't know, it's like a pocket. It just looks like a pocket here. How you go small here and a pocket right there? Why? The human body's so fly. That really should be back here. But no, I wasn't that fortunate. So guys, you know how I do it. Really say no to carbs. Be very back. Peace, peace, yo.